Hi everyone, so in today's video we're going to go over how to export from Rhino to AutoCAD or as a DWG which you can then open in Adobe Illustrator. It's a great way to create diagrams and um, also bring it into another program so you can modify it in any other way. So one of the first things you want to do is uh, looking at the file here, we already have some 2D line work that we've generated, uh, but I just want to quickly show you how you might want to um, make some line work if you haven't already done so. If you set the view, I'll go to isometric, just pick northeast for example, then I have this view, then I can select everything and type in make 2D. And then I'll call it isometric view one. Um, I think keeping all these properties by default is okay. You can always show hidden lines if you want. I don't want to show that level of detail though. So I'll just leave that unchecked. Hit okay. Then it slowly generates. And if you go to the top view, you can see that's where it looks like. I'm just going to move some of this line work. And there you go. So um, you got an isometric view, you have some elevations, a section, and an exploded axle. From there, I can just select this line work and type in export. Then I'll go to um, here, going to export, and choose the type of file. I'll choose DWG. And then I'm just going to put uh, weekend house line work save um, yeah I'll just go by default again I'm not too picky about how I'm going to organize that should be good so if I just open here, open up that file. I can also start um, Illustrator. I can show you what it means to open it there as well. The key thing is in Rhino, you're exporting it one-to-one. -one, so that's a nice thing about opening the exported drawings from Rhino and AutoCAD. Um, if you want something that's scaled already and then modified, um, or then you want to modify an illustrator, you probably want to print it to scale by doing a layout, whether it's an AutoCAD or, or Rhino. Um, you can always check out our previous video that goes into the layouts, line weights, line work, um, and, and we go over how to set up a scale drawing that you can print out of Rhino. But um, yeah, let's just see what it looks like to open an AutoCAD. So it does detect that it's not from an AutoCAD application. That's okay. I just hit continue. Do you want to zoom? Type in zoom and then all. And there it is, right? So from here, if you know AutoCAD, you can set up a layout, print it to scale, and then you can do that. You can set your line weights in AutoCAD. We can show you that in a future video. So I think that's all good. So, you know, again, you can delete some lines, clean it up if you like, but it's overall pretty good. Again, it's one-to-one. -one. Now, if I want to open this in Illustrator, Let's go to file open. So you can open a DWG file straight to Illustrator. So here you can say original size and hit OK. So it's going to be massive, right? Because it's like one to one might not even be able to fit fully. So it might be difficult. So I'm just gonna maybe close out of that. 
So I'm just going to open the file again in Illustrator. And this time I'll choose scale to fit artboard. Typically, if you don't care about the scale, I think um, you can use this method. So typically for drawings that you're meaning to use for diagrams or again, like drawings that don't have a scale. So you can um, use it in that way. So here we have this AXO, we probably use that as a diagram. And here we have light white lines. So let's, we can do select same stroke color. So everything that's white, we can maybe switch to black by choosing. show color swatches, grayscale. I'll just choose black. Black same, show color. Maybe I'll reduce the thickness of it so it's a little easier, right? So again, like you can choose by color, you can choose, but we can go over this in more detail on a future video. I just wanted to show you how you can export and then bring in a drawing into Illustrator or AutoCAD. So very simple. Um, if you liked these videos, please make sure you like and subscribe uh, to our channel. We're always posting new videos about uh, architecture design and real estate. And if you like this model in particular, feel free to check out our previous videos where we go into how to 3D model and even render. Um, this is Weekend House by Ryu Nishizawa. So uh, check out some of our previous videos. And if you have any questions, uh, make sure you comment below um, if there's anything that we can help with. Until then, see you in the next one.